Hi guys, I am back with another video. This is going to be talking about The Walking Dead Season 9, Episode 2 Review. First off, before we jump into this review, hit that subscribe button down there and join this family. And if you're a big Walking Dead family like I am, join because we talk about Walking Dead contents and other stuff to this channel. So, let's dive in for Episode 2 Review called The Bridge. So overall, I think this episode was pretty good. It was very intense, very action. It was just, it was a pretty good episode overall. I think with going off for episode one and now episode two, I think we're getting a little kind of a hint of what's going to be happening for the next couple of episodes. But yeah, I'm thinking I really like this path they're going on through that. So overall we see the first of the introduction of rick going to nick and said we didn't see negan at first just rick telling the negan how it was 35 days after i guess after rick uh gregory's death and it was talking about how they had built start building the bridge how they get lumber to go down and have to set up this camp so they can build this bridge and it looked like it's overall had, and like in a month's time, they all have built up a pretty good bridge. They're still working on it. So, yeah, we see that. We see with Carol taking over Sanctuary as temporary. And overall, at that, we've seen them, just, overall, this episode was them headbutting with some of the Sabres and with our group and stuff like that. And it started with this boy, I think his name's the sec with the saver that caused problem in episode one. I think his name is Justin. So Justin is like a big factor of of some of the conflict because he's still kinda he's still the saver and all that stuff. So yeah, we see that with him with Henry giving out water, helping out so they would keep hydrate and he kept on more and like he was still like that habit with the savers. So we try to do something with Henry and we see him fight with Daryl. So Daryl's character has drastically changed from the last couple seasons with him. And he's, I think he's very angry with Rick and how with Rick decision and all that stuff. So yeah, so they started a fight and then it came up with more fighting and stuff and Rick stopped them and but it was like Carol's decision what to do and I think Daryl did not like it because of the fact that it was they thought he thought that Rick was getting this mad person I got free slapped but I think overall they just wanted to get the bridge done so it get it over with and we see more of the conflict with this person he with them um uh, having like break like a uh, different stuff like post is so if like a herd come close to camp they shoot it away and like Terrell's one plays and Jerry was this and this Justin person when it got to him he did not shoot off the herd and really sadly happened because where they it came to the where they went to the lumber place like an incident happened with Aaron losing his arm and it was like, oh my god, freaky, freaky hat. And yeah, it was overall, it was really, uh, really tense and stuff like that. And I really like how Rick took the gun, shot the rope for the walker, and it came up the log and it took out the herd. That scene right there, I think it was overall, was looked like I got somebody was watching him. And yeah it was pretty cool like his sadly Enos is like Sadiq was trying to train Enos as a medical thing and she sadly had to take Aaron's arm hat like here down and so he survived it but it's going to be interesting how he's going to do going to be survived from right now on how he's going to be having not have two arms she's gonna have an arm and a half and all that and the still this kid Daryl Daryl having this problem with his saver and I think 
Rick was fed up, told him to leave, and all that. So he left, and we with the hilltop with um, Earl was locked up in the cell that he built for um, Maggie and all that. She's had she went down there and talked to him and. Uh, Tammy Rose Earl's wife was really fed up with it and all that. She was really, I kind of understand where she was getting at because she's not seen her husband. And that's the only person she had left with after her son died and all that and stuff like that. So it was really interesting with how Maggie went and didn't want to have to do with the idea of Michonne having to grow up some um, layouts of rules to belt from the hilltop and other communities and I think Maggie over um, looks at it like there are going to have to be some rules set and she finally had him community service I thought that was going to be for what's going to happen with him he's going to be supervising community work to have it because he's a blacksmith and we need stuff like that and Jesus' character came out pretty good. It was pretty good. I wish there was more of Jesus in this season. So it's going to be told what's going to happen next. So overall, it was really tight. It. it was really tense between my, Michonne and Maggie with set, having an idea to set rules for the community and all that. And I think my favorite part at the end of it was when we should come back from where Rick was talking to Negan about how everything goes and we see Negan the first time in the cell. It was pretty awesome, I think. And he says, he mentioned Carl and it really tick Rick off. And I think Negan knows that's one point that will get Rick really tense. And he just says, you getting the world ready for me. And then it cuts to this Justin dude coming back to the sanctuary. He runs into somebody, and I don't know if he dies or something happens to him. I don't know. So, overall, that's my review for episode two. Let me know your thoughts and opinion about the same. Go check out my live reaction. I will try to link it in the description below. And I'll talk to you guys. Later.